Would you like to inform your users that your form URL has changed? Let me show you how. Hey, job Farmers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and you know what? It happens. Sometimes we send out a form, and maybe over time we would prefer them to fill out a different form, but they already have the URL for that original form. So just for example, let's say this is the original form that we have sent out, but over time we want them to fill out this one instead. Now, one thing that you can do is you can send out an email blast and let them know that it's changed, but another way that you can do it is this way. Now, the first thing we wanna do is we want to hide all of these fields. Now, if you delete them, you are going to lose all of that data in your tables. And I know you don't wanna do that. So we are going to hide them all. Now, if you're on a Windows computer, you're going to choose Control A. If you're on a Mac, you're gonna choose Command A. This is going to select every single one of your form elements. And up at the top, we're going to choose Hide. Perfect, so we can see if we scroll down, all of them are hidden. Now, one thing that we want to do is we want to get rid of that submit button. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose to delete my submit button. Perfect. Next up, we're gonna head over to the left-hand side. We're gonna add a form element and we are gonna scroll down and I'm gonna drag in the paragraph. And I'm gonna click on it to edit. So when your users who already know this URL, click on it or utilize it, they are going to see pretty much, hey, this URL has changed. Click here to go to the new form. So I'm gonna go ahead and put something like that in now. Okay, so I went ahead and put, thank you for visiting this form. Please click here for the most recent URL for the form. And then I put the link to that other form that I showed you earlier. That's the form that I want them to fill out. And so we are good to go. So let's go ahead up to publish and let's see what this looks like when someone utilizes that original URL. And there we go. There's no form elements. There's no submit button, only this link. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this link and it takes us to that new form that we want them to fill out. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to inform your users of a changed URL, let us know and I'll see you next time.